All right, so my name's Ronnie Kramer from Reading, Pennsylvania. Uh, I was the infamous or famous computer teacher that taught Taylor how to play guitar. You know, as I started to work with her, I started to see a genuinely good kid uh, who, you know, just seemed interested. It's hard at that age to get people to stick with the program, so to say. I'm going to be very candid and honest. I didn't know that much about her, and all I saw was a pampered rich kid. I got to know her and got to actually, you know, work with her and see that, you know, she was actually going to, you know, be interested in recording. I mean, I would have never dreamed of the success she has now, but she was interested in recording and she was interested in writing songs. First time I actually met her face to face is when the Swifts brought her to my studio and asked if I would be willing to record a demo for her. Once the demo went through and that seemed, to, that seemed to work out pretty well and we got a bit of a comfort zone for each other. Um, they asked me about giving her lessons and, you know, again explaining I wasn't really much into country music, but I could teach her theory and how to structure songs and how to project. I don't know that Taylor was extremely motivated at first, um, but she got motivated once I started showing her what she could do just by structuring chords and parts together. Uh, I think it was actually my mother, uh, Sandy Weeder, who actually suggested to the Swift family that uh, she has a great natural voice for country music, but uh, I wasn't really that much into country music. What I showed her is just the technical side of uh, music and just basic chord structures and how to pattern parts together so you could write songs. The first song I ever really showed her was uh, this one, it was a cheap trick. Um, to do. Uh, some of the chords were a little bit harder to play than others. And what I told her is how to manipulate a capo so she could go up and down the fretboard and change the key of the song without having to compromise her wrist that much so she could still project out to the crowd and sing without having to worry about what her left hand was doing. That she learned to perfection. that well until the summer of 2002. In all honesty, I feel like it was more her parents kind of pushing her, but um, there was a particular incident where I was giving her lessons one day, and um, I used to regularly eat dinner there after the lesson. They would feed me, which was nice. But one day, Andrea went to Taco Bell and bought some Taco Bell and brought it back to the house. But Andrea said, nobody wants to see a fat pop star. That, that shook me a little bit because, you know, Taylor really wanted some Taco Bell. And she was far from heavy. But, you know, they were very, her mother particularly was very keeping her on the straight and narrow as far as, you know, what needs to be done to be a pop star. There was one thing that really piqued her interest is when we started recording. I started showing her how she could layer a verse into a chorus and then manipulate them back and forth. She got really interested because then she started writing her words around the way I was showing her to structure the music. I saw her eventually get to that point where she just really wanted to write. When I saw her keeping her little notebook and she was writing songs, that's when I really felt like I was getting through to her. I mean, understand when you're working with a 12-year-old, you don't really know, you know, whether they're absorbing what you're saying or not. I mean, I could show her all the, all the guitar stuff in the world, but, you know, who knows if she was actually absorbing it. But when she started piecing songs together, that's when I started seeing somebody who really wanted to work. <laughs> 